War. War never changes. Hey, what up, YouTubers? It's William, uh, Zanexia2013. As you look up here, you can see my name tag, so and so. I'm just letting you guys know. Look, there's, there's, yes, I went off like two days ago about Destiny, and I'm not going to apologize for it at all. Instead, I've decided to show you all the problems that I have with this game, and and it doesn't stem from just a lack of community support, which there is a huge lack of, might I add. But let's just go into all the nitty gritties. And this is not beta version, this is the one I bought with the bundle. So I got the Destiny bundle and ultimately I got a really beautiful PS3 and a shitty fucking game. So here's the, here's what's uh, here's what's happening. So I got kind of like it's a 50-50% deal, I guess, when you get these bundles, isn't it? Uh, we're gonna go to Old Earth Russia for starters, because there's a lot of problems just right from the get-go. We're gonna go on patrol in Old Earth Russia. You can see I'm a level 26. Now I've only had this game for about two, three weeks now, but I was a level 26 about a week ago. I haven't been playing for a week. I literally boycotted this game for like a week. And now I'm still boycotting it, but this time it's going to be a little different because I'm actually only going to play it so I can show you all the problems that I have and why I've been boycotting this game. And just so you guys understand, this is all happening real time. I'm talking to you. This is not an edit on audio. There is no audio being edited during this video. So let's okay, go. Let's, let's go, let's find go some into trouble. it. Okay, so immediately we're at the default, you know, fucking patrol zone. And this is awesome. Yeah, okay. There's a river down there. You can't go to it. Which, that I understand. Okay, I get it. You have boundaries. Every Everything has boundaries. I get it. But there are certain boundaries that don't make any sense. And, and look at this. Look at this. I am a level 22. This is a level 2. I could just breathe his existence away. Why? Why is this possible? Why... Why am I telling him to stop the violence and just he dies? W what the fuck, right? I just basically told that fucker to talk to the hand and he, he crumbles into a thousand fucking pieces. I know that's a melee attack, but god damn, that is just crazy stupid. Um... It's just, it's retarded, you know? It, it should not pass. Okay, here's, there's more, but there's more. Now, in regards to the whole boundary, Earth has a few really good examples I'm gonna show you, but there's also other examples throughout other maps. If you really look for them, you will find them. The boundaries issue, I understand you don't, they don't have a large amount of, I don't know, maybe they were bitching about the space, the amount of content they wanted to pack in with DLC, and they probably couldn't fit it all, you know. But the thing is, the game's not even on the disc. It's on a f***ing server. If I, if I, uh, if what I've been told is correct, it's on a f***ing server of all places, right? And the place I'm gonna refer to right now, or let you guys see right now, is, uh, is right here in this, in this little gulch. This beautiful, lovely thing. This, this, this thing right here. This is the most beautiful place, and yes, you can go to this waterfall, and there seems to be a path leading to it, but why? Why? There's no chest that ever spawns here. What's this path for? Why am I led to believe that if I go across this fucking waterfall with this beautiful rainbow, might I add, which is, graphics are spot on in this game, I will say that, but... None of the fucking physics makes sense. None of the physical fucking world just like decisions that Bungie made makes any fucking sense at all. I can I can love and enjoy the fucking take a shower in the waterfall, gay like and shit, right? But um, when it comes down to fucking finding a place where you know, I don't know, maybe I want to fucking go on this rock. 
You know? I wanna go on this rock. And maybe I wanna fucking like jump up here. You know, and, and I'm actually am I Sun Singer? Oh no, I need to go to Voidwalker real quick. I gotta better jump on Voidwalker. Maybe I wanna go here, you know? And uh maybe I just wanna do this. You know? Oh, awesome! I can make it on this cliff! Well that's cool! Wait, what? What? What do you mean? But it's surrounded by rocks! Oh god, what the fuck? There's clearly trees here! I could have clearly kept walking for mouse. Why is there a countdown that automatically kills me? There's obviously no enemies around, or any kind of turret system that says this area is off limits. It makes no fucking sense! Let's, let's try that again. Let's just show you. Let's just show you what I mean. One more time. So basically, if there is an area you can get to Bungie, like you can get to and from on Bungie, Bungie has a... They're telling you how to play the game. They're... They're in... Oh my god, I didn't even go any farther. What are you talking about? No! You see what I'm saying? That makes no fucking sense. You cannot do this, wind up there, and then in fucking two seconds of wanting to explore it and be like, oh, it's such pretty trees. How is it you can take so much time and effort into creating your wildlife and you don't want people to see it? I want to see this fucking area, but why, why does this happen to me? Why? Why when I'm trying to look at trees? I was picking flowers, people! There was, there's no reason for this. This is a horrible mistake. And it's not like it's an outside boundary either. It's just not on the beaten path. It's horrible. It's the worst thing I've ever seen in a game. Even the ones with invisible walls, it's more like an invisible wall surrounding the area, not exactly inside of the area. That's a horrible horrible, atrocious mistake in fucking level design right there. And if, if you don't think so, then you are a fucking fool and you can just give them your wallet, your fucking credit card, and pretty much your entire fucking bank account, bro. In fact, if you think that that was good fucking level design or you think that in any way deserves a fucking defense, you probably need to just go straight to the bank right now, close your account, Grab all your fucking money out, give it all to Bungie, because you might as well be sucking some nuts right there. I'm sorry, but it's, this is pointless. That guy just died in one hit. I just basically said a stop, gave him the MTV stop the violence hand, and he's just like, dead. It's fucking ridiculous. It's retarded. There's no fucking reason for it. Okay, another thing is... Even the things that they actually had made somewhat tolerable in the la latest update, you just can't do those things anymore. Not that you need to, however. I came in after the update. I didn't get to fucking farm caves and shit. I didn't get to see all that amazing shit. It took me forever just to get the gear that I have, and it's not even really that great. I have one exotic, and it's not even for my class. It's fucking hunter class. Not to mention, I've been told you can swap out fucking items with different characters. I, but Bungie doesn't tell you how to do this. And from what I understand, it's, it's a fucking bogus claim because I have never been able to do it. I've never been able to do it. Um, I have tried. I just don't know how. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't see an option for doing it. it it's just I, I, not possible. Another thing is, they've got these golden chests, and you get something great, supposedly. You get some kind of fucking speeder or some shit that's supposed to be faster. Yeah, that's a fucking lie. Let me just go into this inventory real quick and show you why. I fucking, I can tell you, I can debunk that shit right the fuck now. Let's go into inventory. Go to my speeder. Well, it looks like both of my speeders are the same speed, but guess what? This is as fast as it fucking gets, okay? And even when your speed level is higher, your actual overall fucking speed of your bike is always going to be this. You're not gonna go any faster. This is it. This is it right here. 
You don't go faster. The gameplay doesn't allow for it. Bungie does not allow for this. This is this is all you get right here. This is as fast as you will ever go in, in fucking Destiny. This is your destiny. You will be driving Sneeta Snell all the time. Okay. So, like, I'm sorry, but there are moments, yes, where the gameplay is fast, furious, crazy, and, and intense. And it has those moments, but that does not create a salvation for gameplay. Let me show you something else. This is a legendary shotgun that I found. It's called Found Verdict. There's nothing fucking judgmental about it. There's no verdict in pro- There's no verdict. You know, there was no jury, there was nothing. There, it, it is a shitty weapon. You cannot play with this gun in PvP. You cannot play with this gun in fucking PV fucking E. You can't. It's shit. It's not even the attack rating for these guns don't even affect the amount of damage they will do. And when it does affect the amount of damage they do, it's like you're not going to want to change it. Like, okay, I've got this level 242, level 232, or no, not level, but level 20, level 20, 232 attack. My legendary, or my other one does 242 attack because it's been fully upgraded. This one will do for 242 attack as well. They will all, this is as, as high as it gets. All of the weapon attack powers are by level only. They do not fluctuate. They are not randomly designed for each specific weapon. This is it. This is as high as you will go in a rare category. This is the same for every category. Level 20 fucking weapons will always have the same maximum fucking attack power. Always. No matter what, okay, in a, if I have a legendary level 20, it will always be at 300 maximum attack. Once I've leveled this thing up, it will always be at 300. There is no diversity in the weapon stats, and the diversities you will find are rare, to say the least. They're just, they're really small and obviously made to where you will overlook them. Bungie has toned down the game even from the aspect that it was in, when it was in beta there was more variety than what there is now. They've taken out weapons, they've modified it. Bungie has simply fucked with the game. A, a already broken horrible but tolerable game and made it intolerable for players. It's made it horrible. And you'll see this uh when you go to the tower and you see that nobody is fucking there.